Orchards in Himachal Pradesh have many pests that affect apple production. These pests attack different parts of the trees and fruit. One of the main pests is called thrips. Thrips are small, slender flying insects that can be found in the apple buds and blossoms. Although thrips are on the orchard all season long, they're mostly a problem during pre-bloom and flowering because they feed on the buds and flowers. This can reduce pollination and fruit set. If they're not controlled at this stage, they can damage the fruit, which will impact quality and yield. Thrips must be managed on an orchard. However, spraying insecticide is not always the best way to control them. Sprays can harm pollinators and biocontrol agents in the orchard. So before deciding to spray, farmers need to monitor the number of thrips per flower cluster in their orchard. I'm in the apple orchard and I'm going to show how to monitor thrips in apple orchard. Uh, we need a container so we can have the thrips inside uh, that after uh, collection. We need uh, hand lens so we can see the thrips. They are very small size. It's very hard to see some of, sometimes with the eyes. And then we got a monitoring sheet. So in this monitoring sheet, I put the area and the date, time, and each tree we are going to go, we will uh, record the thrips count. Okay, so we found this tree. You see a lot of flowers uh, in this tree and quite a few flower clusters. So what we're going to do, choose four or five flower clusters where we are going to count the thrips. So first of all, let's choose, oh, this looks like a very nice branch. It has got four or five, five flowers in a cluster. So that's really good, sounds good for us. So what I'm going to put my container underneath so that whatever I'm tapping, all the thrips get into this container. So let's do a couple of times. Okay, so all the thrips in this cluster we got in the container, looks like we do have some thrips. I can see some, some thrips we got from the flower. Some are mature uh, adults, some are immature, they are crawling. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to record the, the thrips number. Uh, into my monitoring sheet. So, in the recording sheet, I got the row number, so row number six, and the plant is number four, and I got, this is the first bunch, so I recorded uh, five adults and four immature. So total number of thrips, nine from this bunch. We are going to have five different flower clusters to monitor for this particular tree. So the same process what I have shown is repeated for the other four clusters. And then we will move to a next tree. Now it's a time for us to make a decision, plant protection decision for the thrips management. Uh, from our data, set, data we found that uh, the thrips number are not high. If you get more than 20 thrips, uh, per flower cluster, then you should spray. Otherwise, you should just spray. So in terms of how many times you are going to monitor the thrips in the orchard, um, you can do it as many times you can, but the, it's very important in the bloom period, you should monitor at least twice, two times a week, so that you can make a plant protection decision for the thrips management. On the orchard, integrated pest management, also known as IPM, is the best approach to control pests or thrips. This means making decisions that target one pest, while considering how that will affect other pests and the good insects, such as biocontrol agents and honeybees. Biocontrol agents are good insects, like lady beetles, lacewings, pirate bugs and other predators. They help keep the thrips and other pests under control throughout the season and are important to have in the orchard. In Himachal, the application of firecloprid insecticide at pink bud stage is recommended to control thrips. However, this spray also kills biocontrol agents and can reduce the natural control of thrips in the orchard for the rest of the season. 
It can also kill pollinators, such as bees and flies, reducing pollination and fruit set. This is why monitoring before spraying is so important. As part of IPM, growers also need to include cultural control practices, such as removing weeds that can host pests. If both biocontrol and cultural control are used, then chemical control, the use of sprays, can often be minimised or avoided. This approach to thrips management helps ensure a productive apple orchard in Himachal. <laughs>